Hey guys, today's play game of Rogue Legacy. Um, this is a roguelike game, as the name implies. We originally released in 2013 for PC, and that's the version I'm playing now. Uh, it's also available on the PS Vita, PS4, and Switch. So yeah, this is a Metroidvania type of um, roguelike, I guess, which makes it kind of similar to games like um, Dead Cells, I guess. That would be the closest comparison, I, I guess, because that's a Metroidvania and a roguelike. So yeah, let's see. I like the way I walk. <laughs> My feet pumping up like that. Let's do it. Roguelikes are always very hard, usually, because they want to, uh... Yeah, it's very easy to die, and they want the players to keep coming back and play a different kind of game every time, so... to die but then it's easy to retry again uh, but what's interesting about this is that um, you actually choose your your uh, successor who is actually your child so your your descendants are basically the next guy that you play through as who has different spells and abilities so that makes it a little bit of an interesting twist on the whole roguelike genre okay I guess I'll be uh, this, this person unlock the smithy Okay, so I play as my as that person's descendant, I guess. Sure, I guess. Okay. Had to choose another error, right? So you're honest. Had to choose. Yeah, it's just like in most roguelikes, it's easy to die. But then it's a bit of a twist, because, uh, yeah, every time it's different. Every time you can see the map is different. Um, I guess you can liken it to uh, Spelunky as well. I think Spelunky is also kind of a... You can also consider Spelunky a uh, Metrovania roguelike as well. Oh my god, come on. This friend, Lady Antoinette. Okay. Blacksmith, okay. We got blacksmith now, okay, cool. Hmm, okay, so I can upgrade my weapon? Nope. Like Mega Man. 
small guy so lead to dwarfism and get OCD. <laughs> Lady Sonia has OCD. They have like certain conditions. Dex Toriodia. MP and HP are swapped. Okay, let's, let's go with the dwarfism guy. Who am I mating with anyways? How can I have these all these guys with uh, defects? <laughs> You can't see in 3D, I don't care about that. Okay, let's do this. Oh, what the heck? Is that what stereo blindness means? I'm like Paper Mario? Okay. What the heck? Died already. Gay. I like ladies. Okay, I don't care about that. Vertigo. <laughs> Keys upside down. Okay. What does gay even do? I don't think it does anything. That's nothing negative about that. Who cares, cares I'm attracted to ladies? I don't think that's even a defect. It's not a defect that would matter in the game anyway. Well, maybe it means I can't have, um... It would mean I can't have children, I guess. That that would be some kind of thing to worry about. If I'm only attracted to ladies, that probably means I can't have children. Again. Unless I adopt. <laughs> Oh 
Holy shit. I want this gold. Oh. Let's choose one more run. Uh, nearsighted. Anything far away is blurry. That's really bad. Gigantism. Okay, that's good actually. Copper world Lalia. What's, what the heck's that? Glaucoma. It's dark. Okay. I want gigantism. That's actually going to be a benefit for me. Okay. Every time we get a little bit better. That's cool. Well, actually, maybe it's not. My hitbox is probably bigger. I think dwarfism might be better than gigantism here because your hitbox is lower. Gigantism here, unless I do more damage, which maybe I do, then that's a good thing. Okay, maybe I do more damage, so that's a good thing. Okay, then maybe gigantism is a good thing. Oh, look at that. Okay, maybe the size of my sword is bigger, so that's, that's actually a really good thing then. Sword's much bigger. Which means I can do more damage. That's what I think. Oh no. Okay, anyways guys, that's Rogue Legacy. Uh, it's a pretty fun roguelike Metroidvania game. I mean, the fact that you can choose different kinds of descents after you die, it's not the same person every time. You get different abilities. Every time you die, you level up a little bit every time. That's pretty cool. It makes it more uh, fun and, um, yeah, not as repetitive like other roguelike games might be. I mean, roguelikes are really repetitive because they're different every time, but this one makes it even less so. So, it's just cool. That's it guys, Rogue Legacy. Cool game. Thanks for watching.